To Greece now, which has until the end of the day to present new proposals to secure a third bailout from creditors and prevent a possible exit from the Eurozone. The measures will be studied by Eurozone finance ministers on Saturday, ahead of a full EU summit on Sunday, which will determine Greece's fate. Meanwhile, the Greek government has extended bank closures until Monday, with no clear sign on when they'll reopen. Stelios Kologlu is a member of the European Parliament from Greece's governing Syriza party, and I asked him what the new proposals will contain. Well, you know, we had already proposed a package of uh, uh, 47 pages of reforms and changes, etc., 15 days ago before the referendum uh, was announced. But then in the beginning they said, uh, well, th this was a very good program based for final agreement. They changed their minds, I mean, about the institutions. Uh, now we are going to reproduce that with major, uh, with some changes, majors, one, minors, others, just to satisfy also some demands made by the creditors. So I think this is a full package. And what remains to be done is a political will to have an agreement. And this is uh, what we all need uh, right now. From the Greek part, there is a, a political will to have an agreement, but it remains to be seen if the creditors have one. You know, Germany is, uh, you know, is very skeptical. And there is also this culture of uh, reprisals. You know, since we uh, Greeks voted uh, uh, no, they have to be punished in a way. Can you outline some of those proposed measures? We've seen reports that Greece will be asking for a 30% cut to its debt. Is that true? Can you just outline some of the proposals that you're submitting? No, no, no. We are not uh, asking an immediate solution for the debt. We're just asking uh, what is very simple, uh, a promise we're going to discuss soon the question of the debt, which is, uh, you know, uh, it, it's not uh, uh, viable. It's... Uh, you know, everybody accepts that, including the uh, IMF. Uh, it's not sustainable, and, but we just want the promise. What we really want uh, to propose is changes, you know, in the administration, uh, the, the system of collection of the taxes, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, some, the, some uh, changes in the way uh, the administration, the whole administration is working, things we wanted to do anyway, uh, but, uh, you know, those uh, five months were under heavy pressure, uh, negotiating all the time with deadlines and ultimatums and so on, and uh, people asking us to do in five months what their allies did not do in uh, five decades, which is, you know, uh, it, it's not possible. Now, banks in Greece are still closed, yet the Greek government has extended the bank closures and the 60 euro withdrawal limit from the banks until Monday. When will the banks reopen? Well, uh, this is uh, the one million dollar question. Uh, and if you win that, that you, you, you can win the next uh, question on uh, if there is an agreement or not, you know. So I don't know, I really don't know. It depends on the uh, on the agreement. If there is an agreement, uh, the, those coming days, including the, the final agreement in the summit of the European leaders uh, on Sunday, I, I think that on Monday uh, banks will uh, open. If not, and this will be, mind you, a political decision uh, by Germany, economic uh, uh, kind of differences on the, uh, on the programs and so on, uh, then I don't know what will happen. It will be really difficult uh, for the Greek people, but also for the Eurozone as a whole, because one member of the Eurozone will not uh, be able to, uh, you know, to, to follow the others. And that's, uh, th th that's a very difficult uh, moment. That would be a very difficult moment. Can you understand the frustration from your Eurozone creditors, though? They have given you 323 billion euros worth of loans from countries such as Germany, France and Italy, yet Greece is refusing to accept the terms of various bailouts from those countries who have loaned you the money in the first place. Don't you think Greece is being a little unreasonable here? Uh, well, let, let me explain you just a moment, a, a little bit what happened. This is a loan. This was, it was not, this is not 
and it never was a free aid, you know, to one member of the Eurozone. This is a loan. From the loan up to moment, all the countries, they gave money to Greece, they had enormous profits. So what we want uh, is to change a little bit the, the austerity program, because this austerity program has uh, ended up in a catastrophe in all, uh, in all spheres of the, of the life, economy, humanitarian, social, politics, everything. So fi if, find me one serious economist in the world that you, 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 you will say, you, it will, who would say that after six years of uh, recession, you need more austerity. And that's what is what we were asked to do. More austerity, more taxes to pay um, the, the debt. And we, we say, okay, we want to pay the debt, but give us some, some, uh, some breath. We, we need uh, not an austerity, again austerity, uh, for an economy to recover, to have growth, to repay the debt. Otherwise, how is it possible to, 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 to have uh, more blood from a patient who is running out of blood. If you took him uh, blood, uh, if you want more blood from him, that's the, that, that's the whole uh, issue we are facing right now. OK, Stalios Kologli, we'll have to leave it there, but thank you again for your time tonight. Thank you very much.